What's this doing here? This looks like it. I wonder what this is. Hope fails. That you must discover. Our last hope sailed this sea before you in search of an end to the beasts that have hunted us for generations. An end was found. Or so we thought. When the Dragon rose into the sky like a phoenix, blazing in flames of agony. But our hero never came home. Only the storm, the beasts, the unshakable dread that something had twisted and turned. The journey will not be easy. Storm swirls round the dragon's tower like a shroud. The dragon may be dead, but in its ashes, I fear so. You will fight for every step. You must reach the tower, learn what became of our world. Face what lurks within. Fails. 
another shall take its place. So long as we have breath. Awake. Hi there. Whoa, 
Take it slow. You got hurt real bad. You don't want to start bleeding again, do you? I'm Wallace. I wanted to see you. I asked the commander if I could. Oh, Commander Ford. She's in charge. Oh, Commander Ford and Mr. Riggler found you outside. They brought But they said... They said Mark wasn't coming back. But he's... Was... Never mind. The commander said you should come see her when you woke up. She's in the room down the hall. She'll find a place for you. Everyone's got a place. I'll see you later. Well, well. Look who's awake. I figured you for dead. Riggs and I barely pulled you out of that mess. I'm Commander Ford. This is my base, and you, friend, are... an unexpected guest. It's my job to know the kind of people I bring into Ward 13. We haven't seen a living soul on that shore for... weeks. You will tell me why you were really out there. Oh. Hmm. No one has been in that tower in a very long time. But you've got no chance of getting there in this storm. Truth is, the ward has been cut off. We had to block the gates after we dragged you in. The root are everywhere. But... Now that you're here, I have an idea. I'll tell you what, you wanna leave? You'll have to do something for us first. First, we need power. That storm knocked out our reactor recently. With enough power, we might be able to activate another way out of here. The reactor is on the lower basement level. There's a stairwell that leads down to it. Get it running, then come back here. Because I'm not losing any more of my people today. We already lost a man down there a few days ago. I... suspect the Root have found a way in. Go check in with Rick About your blade. I don't imagine your fists will do much against the Root. You do this for us, and I'll make sure you get out of here. scared the life out of me. No one else wandering around down here. Uh, you're not from around here, are you? Name's Ace. Ace Cotterill? You? Is that right? Well, you found it. Starting that relic could mean trouble, though. So, you ever start a reactor? Well, it makes a lot of noise, for starters. Lucky for you, just the press of a button on the terminal above us. Would have done it myself, but without knowing what might come sniffing around. With the two of us, though, maybe we got a chance. Okay, so I have an idea. You go upstairs and start the reactor. I'll help you kill whatever comes our way. You probably need a weapon, huh? Let's see if I can find you something. and start the reactor.
Get up there and start the reactor. choice sending you down here. You best go check in with Ford. Come visit my shop sometime, yeah? I'll make sure to give you the good in a fight discount. some light around here. You're risking a lot for folks you don't know, stranger. Ah, uh, yes. You're trying to get yourself to that little island, yeah? Word moves fast when there ain't many words left around here. Listen, friend, uh, I know you don't know me from a can of paint, but I want to help. You, uh, you got a feeling of destiny about you. <laughs> You're going to save the world, ain't you? That's the spirit. Uh, here, I want you to have this. Not many people can keep the spirits out there in the world. An old friend told me this little bobble could keep you for death at bay. At least for a while. And if you're looking to buy other treasures for your travels, come see me. Ace has got her own space over there. Between us, we got all sorts of treasures. But that stone there, 
free of charge. Take good care of it. Oh, one more thing. Linda, <laughs> Commander Ford, she knows more about that island than she lets on. Uh, ask her about the founder of War 13. She'll get you on your path. But you picked a hell of a time to visit the ward, friend. Glad to see you got the reactor running. <laughs> and I see Reggie gave you the dragon heart. Uh, he wouldn't part with an artifact that powerful without a good reason. I suppose his notes would be useful to you. <laughs> Very well. Reggie may play the old fool, but his judgment is rarely off the mark. You've proven yourself reliable, stranger. I'm willing to help you get on your way. But I doubt you'll last long out there without help. Go see Riggs and McCabe downstairs. They'll fit you with better gear. Come see me afterwards. Hey, friend. Ah, thanks for getting the power back on. Ford mentioned we should help you get sorted for the city, as a thanks for getting us out of a bind. Ah, maybe we can put your old blade to good use after all. Ah, let me look. It's not the strongest stuff, but more protection than what you've got. Ah, there you go. A bit sturdier. Every little bit counts out there. It's true. We don't have much, but you did right by us. Best we do right by you. If you need any weapon upgrades in the future, come see me. McCabe over there will help you out with the augments for your gear. But, uh, stick to business talk. You know, she's not much for chat beyond her work. So you're the stray Ford was talking about. Said we should get you equipped for the city. Doesn't make sense to me. Giving away good parts for nothing. Apparently taking out a few root is enough for our commander, though. Ford's gonna give my time to every stray who wanders in. And we're having words. I'm McCabe. I'm the engineer. And you're a pain in my ass. I'm not some scrap peddler, got it? 
I don't upgrade trash. All right then. Let's see what we're dealing with here. This will help keep you on your feet, along with anyone else fool enough to join you. That's all you get for now. Get me more components and I'll make more. For a fee. Now get out of here. I'm tired of your yapping jaw. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you more equipped. Riggs and McCabe do good work. I hope this will be enough to get you on your way. We can't leave by the gates now, but the Founder, my grandfather, gave me this key years ago. He said we should only use it when there's no other choice. Well, we are out of choices. Considering you stuck your neck out for us, it seems fitting you do the honors. Take it. There's a terminal downstairs in the main room. Use the key there. With any luck, we can get the thing running. Oh. Uh, don't thank me just yet. You should be able to use that key on the terminal downstairs. Never tested it myself. but I never saw it working. This red eye might be our only door to the outside world now. You want to get out of here? This is your shot. My grandfather was the commander before me. They called him the founder of Ward 13. He brought everyone to Ward 13 when the Root first attacked. He was determined to learn where the Root came from. He spent so much time out there, searching. And one day, he knew the outside world better than anyone here. It's easier to think he's dead. There's a room just outside the ward. All his notes, any hint of where he went, it's there. If you want to reach the atoll, he may be the last one who knew how to get there. Listen, I know this has all been a bit rough for you. Been rough for everyone. But you came through for us. For that, I'm grateful. You're welcome back anytime. Good luck.